The year 1857 marked the beginning of a catastrophic financial decline in American history, known as the Panic of 1857. Stock prices crashed. Businesses began failing. Thousands were unemployed. In order to bolster the U.S. economy, a plan to transport an unprecedented amount of gold from Panama to New York was devised. The SS Central America was chosen to carry over 20 tons of gold, worth over $300 million today. However, during the journey, the ship was struck by a hurricane and sank 7,000 feet to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The owners of the gold were various insurance companies. Devastated by the loss of the gold, numerous attempts were made to find the ship, but all efforts failed. The last attempt to find the wreckage occurred in 1859, 130 years later. Over the years, the insurance companies lost or destroyed most of the documents saying they owned the gold. Despite the loss of these documents, the insurance companies spoke to different treasure hunters about finding the wreckage. On one occasion, they spoke with a treasure hunting company named the Columbus American Discovery Group about using their technology and experience to find the sunken treasure. But negotiations ended quickly when the Discovery Group asked for 100% ownership rights over the gold in exchange for their services. Later, the Discovery Group began searching for the wreckage without any agreement or help from the insurance companies. After much effort and expense, the Discovery Group found the wreckage and began using an underwater robot to raise the gold from the ocean floor. The insurance companies were outraged when they learned about the Discovery Group taking the gold, arguing they were still the rightful owners. However, the Discovery Group insisted the gold had been abandoned and since they were the finders of the gold, they should be allowed to keep the gold under the law of finders keepers. Who gets the gold? The insurance companies or the Columbus American Discovery Group? United States Court of Appeals explained the law of finders keepers applies when the owner of the property has abandoned it. Here, the insurance companies never abandoned the gold. On the contrary, they never gave up trying to find the wreckage and contacted several companies, including the Columbus America Discovery Group, to try and recover the gold. Since the gold was never abandoned, the law of finders keepers didn't apply. Instead, the court applied the law of salvage. The law of salvage states when ships or their cargo have been recovered from the bottom of the ocean by those other than their owner, then the owner still retains ownership interests in such property. However, the person who finds and recovers the property is also entitled to a very liberal salvage award. In this case, the court said the Discovery Group deserved a substantial reward for salvaging the wreckage. The insurance companies ended up with 8% of the gold, while the Discovery Group was awarded 92% of the gold. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe so you don't miss our next video. More riddles, puzzles, and brain teasers are on the way. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.